Good morning. So it's been a little while, about two weeks since I've uh, put a video up, and I apologize for that, but I uh, had a little bit of stuff going on over the past two weeks. Uh, wife's birthday, traveling to Vegas, you know, celebration, stuff like that. Sorry for the squinting this morning, but the sun is very bright behind, in front of me over there, you can see, yeah. But I figured I'd film the beginning of this out here at a beautiful park, has great views. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the Bronco Grill package that I've got show you some finished products that Colton managed to finish up and let you know a little bit more about the sizing and stuff like that. So we'll dive into that here in just a few minutes. Okay, back here in front of the computer, uh, I'll try to describe uh, the steps and, and processes. You'll want to check out the first video I released about this. Um, as far as modifying the actual grill um, all the way through and how the pieces mount together. Um, but these are pictures that Colton sent me uh, while he was doing the process. And I'll kind of go over those uh, one by one. So here's the template he laid in there. Um, you can see with the green lines, that's where uh, the parts he had to cut. And he also pointed out that I need to modify this one corner right here where it is uh, just off just a little bit, which is no big deal. I've already modified that for the, the next pieces going out. And you can see there's just marks that he needed to use to trim. And here he's showing me that the factory grill has a slight bow in it, and there is no need to use uh, the screw that would be located right about here. He also did create a small round over on the back side here, so it nested a little bit nicer. And this is what it looked like when he snapped it back in. He went ahead and used some two-part epoxy to bond and fill uh, or start the fill process. And then you can see he's got some body filler on there, sanded down, and he primered um, and painted. And that's what it looks like. And he used the Bronco badge that I sent him. Uh, when I send these out, I usually send out a couple of different uh, badges. I think it's a total of five or six. I can't remember. Uh, just to kind of finish it off. And that's it. All right. So there you have it. Um, there are some size limitations. Obviously, don't send me uh, or tell me you want these and uh, you've got a five and a quarter that you want to put up there or even a four inch that you want to put up there. Yes, I'm sure it can be done, but not in this method and this style. There'd probably be way too much modification to the actual vehicle that needs to be done. Right now, what you'll be able to see is the, the morels that I did for um, Colton. This was the outside diameter of the actual driver. Um, and the tweeter, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to be able to fit something much larger than that in there. Obviously, the tweeter has a little bit more room to go, um, but this is your basic dimensions. Uh, some other drivers that may fit are like uh, JLC7s um, or um, Arc Audio RS3 and Tweet, RS3, RS1. Um, I don't have a full list yet because there are so many different speakers out there, but it's the kind of thing that if you know what driver you have, measure the outside diameter with calipers. Don't just say, oh, it's a three and a half. It says it's a three and a half. It'll fit um, because the uh, Focal Utopia M3 is actually uh, almost, if I remember correctly, almost three and three quarter inches around, um, you know, it's like 3.69 or something like that. So it becomes really large. Now, if this is definitely something you wanna do and you want me to try to work on it, message me, email me, call me, whatever. Um, and I'll play around with it and see if I can just redesign a custom one just for that and for those speakers. Um, this was trying to be a little bit more of a universal style thing. Uh, so, you know, there are definitely brands that'll fit. And then if you're going smaller, obviously you would do, you're an audio frog dealer and you wanna put some GB 25s in here that shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, so just uh, hit me up and let me know what I can do for you. Thanks.